the sports chaplaincy South Africa digital groups that's that's happening. I, I heard you mention it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on this opportunity now to promote to promote ourselves a little bit as well. How has that been for you? Yeah, I must say it's really it's a blessing to to be part of this and and I mean you guys you guys um, you guys are investing us investing in us you guys are investing your time you're sharing the gospel with us and I'm so grateful for that you know I mean um, that, uh, we I really feel so fulfilled you know I look forward to our, our, our two weekly um, devotions we have and and I learned so much I mean since the lockdown now I've been I, I can say I've been I've grown I'm growing more in my in my faith as well and yeah not just not just now in the lockdown but even the times before I, before I was really saved you know um, getting to know Bruce and what Bruce has done in my life it's really it's really a, a massive U turn in my life and and I'm so grateful for you guys yeah for Bruce for Quentin for all of you guys so I mean if I would definitely recommend all sports people to to join this initiative, all Christians, yeah. Mm. Wonderful, thanks for that call and we certainly on a more serious note uh, to let you know and the other athletes out there that are in those groups that we, we, we take this time seriously, uh, we take this period seriously with you, we're standing with you in prayer regularly and daily and um, this calling that God has given us, it's something very dear to us and you guys are close to our hearts. Yeah. So we, yeah. we, we really look forward to the time connecting with you. Um, yeah, I oh, just, I just, no. I, sorry, I, I just want to add also that, you know, not just, not just now in lockdown, you guys, or Quentin and Bruce, uh, because those are the guys I regularly, I regularly speak to. I mean, even during the time when, when we are on, on normal, but without lockdown, um, you know, I can, I can call Quentin, I can call Bruce, and always when I speak to them, I feel better afterwards, you know, I, I take I take everything to them, you know, I can speak to them to Quentin about anything, and when I leave his house or when I when I put the phone down, I always feel so much better, so it's really, it's really a true blessing to, to have something like that, you know, and I, and I think for sports people, we can't do it on our own. All sports pe- people, I mean, if I read about Kobe Bryant, if I read about Michael Jordan, they all had their own doctor. So now there's his own chef, he has his own doctor, his own whatever. And I mean, the most important thing for me is, is my own mentor, you know, my own, sure. my own content, my own Bruce. And that has really helped me, you know. And yeah, I'm just really grateful to you guys. Yeah. Sure, thanks. And, and we also rely on you guys to spread that message so that one day the up and coming Cristiano Ronaldo says, I won't sign that contract unless there's a chaplain in that team. You know, that, that's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, uh, yeah. That's kind of where, where we want to get to. Um, Carl, no, thanks but... so much. Th- thanks for that. The appreciation goes a long way. Um, just to wrap up quickly, um, I'm, clear, I'm clearly seeing in your life such a clear sense of identity, purpose, um, and knowing and understanding your, your your spirit man and your connection with with God, um, I'm seeing that so clearly coming through in your career, in your life, and the way you just speak about life. Um, however, we do realize that a lot of athletes and sports people out there, their sport, their athletics, their league, that's their life to them. I see it um, a lot in, in on, on my side. I'm, a, I'm an amateur athlete myself, and and I see our guys um, worship themselves and their sport and their apparatus, um, you know. But there's so much more that those these things will be taken away from us one day, right? When we retire or whatever. And we saw this in the season now of lockdown for a period. It's been taken away. So, what sort of message do you have? perhaps for the young up-and-coming footballer, young up-and-coming pro athlete on the danger of making their sport that one and only thing yeah. in life? Yeah, look, I must be honest, I was, I was one of those guys. I was, before before I really got saved, I was, it was all about me, it was all about my soccer, it was all about what can you give, what can you give me in my relationships? Um, how am I going to benefit, you know? What can what can what can I do to for my soccer to excel? Um, just all that you know, and and um, 
my, the best lesson I ever learned was from Bruce also was 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 about we might intelligence and my my intellect was was all lined up in my soccer. You know, if I didn't have a good game, I would go home. I would be angry with my parents. I, I, I would be rude. I would I would just be down. You know, if, if my coach didn't say I had a good game, I was let down. I was sad. I was angry. You know, um, as soon as the the fans was happy with me, I was happy. So mm. so my happiness always lied in in the in the in the applause of the fans or what the coaches said or what my friends said how far I played all those things you know and then um, and then you know coming to know the gospel and, and reading more and, and learning more and, and just seeing what does God say about us what does God say about Cole you know um, who does he say and he says I'm a masterpiece he says I'm a complete by, by the works of Christ he says I'm so much more you know he, he loves me the same when I do good, it doesn't the same when I when I don't play well. So I mean that is so much so much more to me. It means so much more to me than 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 all these other things could ever mean. So just learning the the gospel more and, and, and embracing what God says about me and, and finding my identity in that mm. changed my whole perspective of 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 of, of football or everything. Wow. Now now if, if someone wants gospel rules go Cole is, you know, Cole is a born again Christian. I find my identity in that. Cole is a, is the husband. Cole is a son. Cole is a brother. Um, football is just an extension of who I am, and I love football. I, I, I love it. I love it. But this, I'm so much more than just, just football. So I think, and I also read up about, I read about pro athletes that after the, the um, careers in they become depressed. But that is because we, we wrap our identity around our sports and we find our, our joy, everything in that. And and that's that's not how it should be, you know, that's the extension of us. The same with me if I transition now into my new into my new um career. You know, it's a transition, it's, it's not who I am, you know. So yeah, but I I find so much so much joy in, in what the Bible says I am because now I walk I walk with that confidence, I walk you know, knowing I'm a, I'm a son of the most high, I walk with the confidence, I'm a masterpiece, I'm made in this image, you know. So I walk with that power, bad game, good game, doesn't matter, you know, coach ever go at me. I'm, I know I am, you know, but before before I knew this lesson, before I was taught this lesson, before I, I, I grew in the knowledge of Christ and, and what I am in Christ, I, I was tossed around all over by, 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 the, by the opinions of others, by what my parents said, what my, what my friends said said you know so yeah my my message to to youngsters is you know not to not to not to make a god out of our, our careers out of our positions out of out of um out of our sport but put god in our in his rightful place on the throne you know and find out anything who, who he says he, who he says we are and yeah so that's my message to the the, the youth you know Oh, Cole, you're giving me wouldn't place here, brother. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's, that's really inspiring, and and thanks for that. I think it's a it's it's a message in season right now because the reality is all athletics and sport has just stopped, right? And I think pro athletes really need to hear that. So thanks for that. Thanks for this precious anointed time with you. And um, yeah, thanks for being on Sports Chaplaincy South Africa Call Up Digital Broadcast and um, we'll connect with you soon. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Thank you for having me. And, and, and again, I want to, I'm not saying this to, you know, to, to market you or whatever. I'm saying this out of the goodness of my heart. I truly appreciate you all. And, and to footballers and to sports people out there, I really hope and wish they can, they can all connect to this, to this, um, to this organization, and, and reap the benefits that we all get in currently. I'm, I'm just the other day, you know, we did the, we did the passage on, on, on Philippians, and I mean, we, we, we spoke, and just leaving that conversation, I was so, I was so fired up, I was so hot, you know, just, and that, that's what, that's what the mentor does, that's what the, the sports chaplain does, you know, and, and I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys, and yeah. You guys teach me so I can, you know, teach others. So, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful and I really appreciate what you guys do. It's such a pleasure. And we hold you guys in prayer regularly and in our hearts. And thank you for this discussion. It was, it inspired me personally. Thank you so much. 
Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Must have a lekker day for the. Thanks you too. Bless you, Carl. Bless you too. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.